folks. Welcome to San City Sports on this Wednesday. I have to check, folks, because I'm losing track of things. Today is day 23 uh, in terms of quarantine. One day at a time. We're getting through it. To the business, Tom Brady went on Howard Stern. Drew Brees also went on Allen to talk about, you know, the transition of moving to Tampa Bay. Point of fact is jersey sales for the Tampa Bay Bucks up three thousand percent so in terms of you know people wonder about tom brady can he still do it does he, does he deserve the money three thousand percent jump in jersey sales i would think so drew Brees talking about the nfc south possibly being the most competitive division i think he has a strong case there in conclusion with the nfl two things they're worried about basically espionage and hacking in terms of the nfl draft people stealing their zoom and skype information somewhat interesting don't necessarily buy that number of things to get to in the nba first of all this force tournament is going down cp3 trey young uh zach levine wnba players nba alumni I tip my hat to them uh for that the Lakers are getting out front like many NBA teams are going to need to do. The executives are going to be the one taking the hit first, up to as much as 20%. But the NBA Players Union has already noted that players should expect salary reductions, if not salary reimbursement. Interesting concept there. I got to tip my hat to the Bulls, uh, looking at bringing in Brian Colangelo in terms of general manager. He did an outstanding job. I don't want to hear about Twitter in terms of his work in Philadelphia. Love that. And no decision until May, folks. Adam Silver going to take his time uh, in terms of the season, and rightfully so in terms of the positive things we're seeing in other leagues. Conclusion, folks, we got to look out for each other during these times. Andrew Smith, MMA fighter, somebody broke into his home. He had to stand tall, protect his family before the police got there. I tip my hat to them. And finally, in terms of history and sports, Lou Gehrig, his bat was on sale, million dollars. Quite pricey, but with respect and love to history. We'll see you next time, folks.